Hi, and welcome to Marsha's Mush and Stuff. Today, we're going to get crafty and participate in the Blast from the Past Challenge, hosted by my friend Simply Becky D, pictured here, also with these other fabulous creators, who will be listed in my description box in the playlist. And today's DIY, using this shipboard for DIY number one, was going to try to crackle paint it with Mod Podge. That does not work, so I just ended up painting it with my home decor chalk paint from plaid.com. And also did want to mention that in today's challenge, these DIYs are going to be based on either a TV show or movie from the past. So in the final reveal, after you've watched that, let me know what TV show or movie you think these DIYs were based on. I would, I can't wait to hear what you guys guess, and I hope that I represented what I picked well enough that it gives you a hint. But moving on to DIY number two, why part of our ship or dries, we're going to kind of skip around a little bit, you guys, and I do apologize for that, but you know, can't, can't paint it all at once. So crafting on the floor because it is actually my favorite place to craft. And so on the floor we are and using the ship wheel in the coastal blue, painted that and even the insert. But while we're letting that dry, we're gonna move on to our little beach chair. And again, with the lace colored chalk paint from Home Decor, again, a plaid product, we're gonna chalk paint this beach chair. We're even gonna give it some florals for an umbrella. So how tropical is that? And since it is still summer, it's still very fitting. Back to our shipboard, just finished painting that front and back. That did take two coats because it was a really dark blue. Wish it would have crackled, but that is okay because I end up using not the raised up side that I just showed you there. So I've lost count. I think we're on DIY number, we're skipping around so much. So three DIYs so far, and you can see them here. But here's where I decided to make a little umbrella out of these florals. I do double those up just to make it a bit more fluffy, and you'll see that here in a moment. So while that's drying, we're going to move on to our wreath, and we are going to make an island, tiki island wreath that is going to be ever so pretty. And this would be a great idea that a friend gave me for those summertime birthdays or even I know people like to do tiki parties in general. So these are a few DIYs that you can easily do. So using the bamboo wreath form from the Dollar Tree and these ferns, which we're gonna to refer to as palm branches because I want the palm branches to be on the wreath and I just separated them by color. I only want to use the lighter colored ones. I don't want to use the darker colored ones on this one, but I do make use out of everything once I got those separated. Snip that off at the base with my favorite tool, the dog nail trimmers, and placement again is everything. And you see where I thought I was gonna put it, I don't and I put it there and using my silicone face mask applicator, I glue that down so I don't burn myself, which is a good idea to have one on hand just for that. And just going around it again in a half moon circle, I know I do a lot of wreaths in this particular way, but we're gonna go with our florals, yellow coral, yellow coral, or is that peach? Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But to me, it's a coral color, so we're going to go with coral. So we're just going to finish it off that way. And I think this turned out beautiful. It's hanging on my back door as we speak. And that is the end result of the very tropical wreath. And let me know what your thoughts are and which was your favorite DIY. That's the wreath hanging on my wall. 
and I do love it. I think it has a lot of texture and it screams Tiki and Island. And now for my favorite DIY and what really pulled all of this together, we're gonna make an island. So using some wood slices that my son-in-law had actually cut for me, he cut these for me and using the wood tent again from Home Decor, I even put a palm branch in the little hula girl's hand, glued that on just for staging purposes, and that's all I'm showing you here. But went ahead and used a wooden skewer to attach the small wood round to the other larger wood round. And then we're gonna take this wood tent. It's supposed to be a light gray, but it's more of a blue gray. I love this color and it was the perfect addition for this DIY. And again, we're making an island. Now you go ahead and paint that on and then take your baby wipes and wipe it off just like you would with any other wood stain or wood tint. But anywhere that the paint peels off, or not peels off, but comes off with a baby wipe, it tends to do that around the glue, and you're gonna see that right here. Then I just go back with my sponge and dab it on those places that it came off of. So that's what I'm showing you there, just dabbing it on, and then finish wiping it off the top. And it gives it that wood grain effect that I definitely love. It makes it look more natural. And then we're gonna take this palm tree from a set of stickers, tongue twister there, and we're gonna glue that, hot glue that to that wooden skewer to separate the islands. And I absolutely love this one. We're gonna get out some seashells and you can use whichever ones you would like to use. This is only for inspiration. You don't have to do it just like I did. But I chose to use the, the smallest shells I could find, glue those in a, a little cluster, and then I pull out a bag of sand. I believe that's what's coming up next. I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. I'm sorry. Yes, pull out a bag of sand. And my uh, another favorite product is a spray adhesive. So spray it on the wood, wood slice and then put down the sand, spray it again on top, and you guys, it hardens and it does not shed or go anywhere. Using the spray adhesive, we're gonna make a towel for a little chair, and how cute is this? I absolutely love it. I think this was the perfect addition. I received this fabric from BB Craft, and you can find them online at bbcraft.com if you're not familiar with them. I'll try to remember to list them in my description box. But look how cute, and that's where I doubled up on the florals for the umbrella, so to speak. And that's where I would want to relax if, if I were on this particular place. <laughs> so many things I wanna say, but can't without giving, a, without giving you a, a big hint. So using these I found in my stash, I burn off the extra jute, the frayed edges, and I just tied them all together with a knot, took that knot and glued it to that ship oar, and that's how we're going to embellish that ship oar. And that's all we're going to do to that one. And moving on to what I think is our last DIY, took this from the Dollar Tree, Chalk painted it again in lace using an acrylic paint pen to make those rust spots and then gluing down the floral foam. We're going to glue that down now. I start to place the dark ferns or palm branches in until I realize no, that's not going to work. So pull those out, put in more floral foam. We're just going to stack it on top of one another. And then we're gonna add in some raffia for the base and then our florals. I took the peach one out and again, we're gonna go with the yellow and corals 
and then I've placed the palm branches behind, but let me know, would you have kept it this way or would you have put the palm branches in it? And that is what that one looks like, you guys. And you've probably seen it in my background many times if you've watched any of my other videos, but I do love this one. And I can change this out per season. And I think that's what I love most about it, to be quite honest with you. So I was wrong. This is the final DIY right here, you guys. And this is my second favorite. And again, I think this one pulls it all together. We're gonna make a tiki bar. And using one of the little wooden crates that you get from the Dollar Tree, we're just gonna use our wood stain or wood tint from Home Decor. Again, a plaid product. And you can find plaid at plaidonline.com. Using the baby wipes again to get that wood grain effect so that it looks very natural. We're just going to wipe it out. You want to make sure you get all the nooks and crannies. And then we're going to cut down our wooden dowels with the dog nail trimmers. And I marked those because I want it to stand up straight, obviously. And I did lose a little bit of footage here, and I do apologize for that. But we're gonna take a combination of wood glue, yes, wood glue and hot glue, and buff down any of the little ends where you cut them with the dog nail trimmers, cause you'll need to sand those down. So I sanded those down, and then adhered those with the wood glue and a combination of the hot glue. Didn't realize I sand it for so long. Here we go. So there's a bead of the wood glue and then put the hot glue on the dowel and glued that down. Now you could have just used one dowel, but I, I, I was going for a certain look and honestly didn't think of that till just now. But there it is. And then I just framed it in you guys by stacking the other wooden dowels on top and using some regular size popsicle sticks to make the uh, roof and that's and then I went ahead and stained all of this with the same wood tint that I used on the crate I made this wreath for this DIY I used black and white yarn and just looped it around so it'd be like a lifesaver and loosely wrapped the nautical rope around it and then there's our beach chair and our little uh, ship wheel. And of course our little island. I even dry brushed some terracotta plants and put some in some LED lights. I also decorated our tiki bar with an adult size hula skirt, which is a great idea. You can cut it down to size and you'll have plenty left for other projects. And then I used whatever ferns or palm branches that I had left over, use those to cover that roof. And also I did another DIY cause I just got going and did not want to stop. And I made some flip flops as well. And I took all of this outside you guys, because I thought it definitely needed to be showcased outside. And again, let me know what you think in the comment box below. Again, I know it's not screaming any certain TV show but or movie, but if you if you guess it, let me know. I would love to hear. There's the terracotta plants, and here's a little clip that I took. Video recorded it. Now that anchor I did not make. I did buy that already, like that at the Dollar Tree. It's a chalkboard. And I did contemplate writing a hint on there, but decided that wouldn't be fair. But look at that tiki bar. Look how cute that turned out. That is my absolute favorite. And the little island is, again, another favorite of mine. Those are my absolute two favorite DIYs in this challenge. Don't forget to check out the playlist, which will be linked in my description box below. Also, a Special thank you to the host, Simply Becky D. I appreciate you so much for hosting this challenge and thank you for inviting me to take part. 
I certainly do appreciate it. And definitely go over and check out Simply Becky D DIY. You, you really want to watch her. It's just called Simply Becky D. I'm sorry, I added the DIY on for her. But definitely check out her channel. You don't want to miss out on her creativity. And all the other ladies in today's playlist are super creative and talented. And I can't wait to see what everybody came up with, you guys. But thank you for watching. And until the next time, I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Until next time, thank you.